G'day, welcome to the Boomerang Channel. Gonna have a bit of fun today. For those of you who don't come from Australia, those goals over there are Aussie Rules goals. What we real football players, round ball, beautiful game players like to call flail and scramble. Right. Ugly game. Incidentally, it's about the only game in the world where you can score points for missing the goal. I don't get it either. All right, so you get it between the big sticks, you're a hero, all right? Okay, so that, according to this laser rangefinder, is 87.5 meters from where we're standing. So I'll come out in front of the camera. And today, I'm testing, just for a bit of fun, testing some old Aboriginal hunting boomerangs against some uh, things I knocked up out of marine ply. Uh, just see how, how straight they go and what kind of distance you can get out of them. Okay. So first a traditional mulga wood boomerang. You throw these sidearm, you don't do this with a um, returning boomerang, because they just go straight up in the air and crash. These are designed to go straight. Forty one point four meters. This is from, uh, I think it's from the top end. Had a bit of a curl to it, but it went a fair bit further. One point oh meters. Now let's try the uh, marine flight. Cut up an old boat. Wind's picked up a little bit coming across from my left. I don't know if you picked that up, that hit the top of the bank there, just below the fence. 87 metres, exactly. Another one, same design. Oh, that hit rock. would have gone about the same distance. So I think the first one, mate, would have, you know, had it carried on, would have gone close to 100 metres. All right. I'll give you that in yards. won't seem to change modes for me. But I have actually thrown the length of this oval from one goal square to the other, which is 138 metres, and gone over the cricket nets at the other end. So I probably, probably would have achieved a, a throw of about 150 metres with those. So, yeah. At least I've got a goal. Have a good one. <laughs> 